Hindustan Aeronautics has showcased its true Fenji civilian helicopter at the Aero India 2025. The Indian Defence Secretary met delegations from US engine manufacturer General Electric and French engine manufacturer Safran at the Aero India. HAL officials have informed that the Tejas Mark II assembly will be completed in June 2025, and the first prototype rollout will happen by the end of 2025. First engine run is planned for February 2026, followed by its first flight in May 2026. The Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur has transferred the technology of its own Aloxia metal material surface cloaking system to a private vendor, that can be used on fighter jets and even hardened shelters. Bharat Electronics Limited and Safran Electronics have announced creation of a joint venture for manufacturing customizing selling and maintaining the Hammer Smart Precision Guided Air-to-Ground Weapon in India. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has signed a strategic partnership with South Korea's STX engine, to co-develop manufacture and market battle tank engines marine engines and spares. Adani Defence in collaboration with DRDO has unveiled India's vehicle-mounted counter-drone system at the Aero India 2025. General Electric has signed a five-year performance-based logistics contract with the Indian Air Force to provide comprehensive sustainment for the T-700 engines that powers Air Force's Apache helicopters. Bangalore-based Scandron has launched India's most powerful cargo drone Cargo Max 20KHC that has 200 kg payload capacity. Tato Advanced Systems and Lockheed Martin have agreed to set up its defense aircraft MRO at Bangalore for Super Hercules aircraft globally. Bharat Dynamics has renewed its MOU with Lockheed Martin to explore the possibility of co-producing Javelin ATGMs in India. Noida-based startup Veda Aeronautics has signed an agreement with Bharat Forge in the field of aero engines. Kalyani Strategic has signed MOU with US-based L3 Harris Tech to focus on joint and integrated ISR capabilities including tactical communication network development. While inspecting an aircraft at the Aero India, the Indian Air Force chief has told HAL officials that he had no confidence in Hindustan Aeronautics. He also criticized Hindustan Aeronautics for its slow pace of manufacturing the Tejas fighter jets, saying that HAL is just not in mission mode, and some drastic changes needed. He also stated, that he was promised that 11 Tejas Mark 1A would be ready in February at the Aero India, but not a single Tejas Mark 1A is ready. He also pointed out, that the aircraft that HAL flew calling the Mark 1A is not Mark 1A, as the Mark 1A cannot happen just by change of one software or by looks, as the Mark 1A comes with the required capability and weapons. In a major development, France is in advance discussions to procure the Pinnaca multi-barrel rocket launcher, and discussions in this regard took place at the summit meeting between Prime Minister Modi and President Emmanuel Macron. Pinnaca was demonstrated to a French delegation three months ago in India, and the evaluation was found to be satisfactory. Once the deal goes through, France will become the second export customer of the Pinnaca system after Armenia. Hindustan Aeronautics has showcased its Cats Warrior Loyal Wingman at the Aero India 2025, and interestingly, its maximum takeoff weight is now increased to 2 tons, which is substantially higher than the previous 1.3 tons. This increase in maximum takeoff weight means that the Warrior will carry more substantial payloads, enhancing its operational capabilities and mission flexibility, particularly in deep strike missions inside enemy territory. Today's top 3 comments.